Hey guys, today I'll tell you the surefire way to get software engineering interviews. But before I tell you how to do it, let me tell you how not to do it. So you're familiar with places like Indeed.com and AngelList. All these job boards, they have thousands of job postings, right? So it may seem lucrative to just go and apply there. But remember that each job posting usually attracts hundreds of applications. So even if you have the right skills and the right experience, chances are that your application will just get lost in the pile. So you want to avoid those places. So here's what you should do instead. Now, this approach will take a lot more work, but you'll get a lot more responses for the applications that you send out. So the way to get a good job is not even look at the jobs. Look at the companies that you like. Now, I'll tell you now how exactly to look for such companies. So the first step is figure out what industries you like. Now, some of you may be really interested in healthcare. Others may be interested in social media. Whatever that is, look at the apps that you use, the news that you're reading every single day, and that will kind of give you an idea of what industries you're interested in. So don't go overboard, limit yourself to like three to five, and make a list. So once you have the list of those industries, now it's time to kind of make a list of priorities, right? You don't want to get stuck in a job that will require you to commute for two hours a day if you're not okay with commuting. So write down what your priorities are. Maybe it's to find a job that is within 10 miles of where you live. Maybe it is um, you want two to five days work from home. Whatever that is, write it down, right? So the next thing you will do is go on to AngelList and filter by the industry that you're looking at. Next thing you'll do is you'll filter by the company size. So are you looking at big companies? Are you looking at small companies? If your priority is to work nine to five, then perhaps a startup might not be good for you. Although there are startups that allow nine to five. And the next thing is to filter by your area. So if you're in San Francisco, for example, just look at the companies in San Francisco if you don't want to move and relocate. So do that and at the end, you may, depending on what the industries are, you may end up with about 50 to 100 companies. The next thing you do is for each of those companies, you look them up on LinkedIn. And when you look them on LinkedIn, on the right hand side, LinkedIn will suggest all of the related companies. And these will be the companies that were never in your radar before this, right? So research those companies, see if they make sense to be included in your list, and include the ones that you like. Now at this point, your list should grow 2x or 3x. So by now you have a list of companies that you're, you're somewhat interested in. The next thing you do is you go on to Glassdoor and you look at the reviews. And those reviews will tell you whether those companies are meeting all of your priorities. So filter out the ones that don't, keep the ones that do, and hopefully at the end you will have a list of 20, 25, even more companies on your hands. And these are the companies that really excite you. These are the companies that you would really like to work at. And that will show, not just in your application or in your cover letter, well, uh, which, which I'll get into next, but also in your interview process. And that will just mean that it'll show and you're more likely to, to get the job. So once you have a list of companies, now you want to apply to each company, one company at a time. So even before you form your application, make sure that you know yourself well, right? You want to know your narrative, what's your story, why exactly you're interested in the industry, what interests you about the company, and make sure that you have the right skills and experience and you can relate to them, to that particular company, right? So now, especially if you're a software engineer and the company is growing, they will have a job for you. So what you do is you don't bother with the job postings, you don't bother with the recruiters, just go on to LinkedIn and look for director of engineering or VP of engineering in that particular company. Now, the next thing you do is go on to one of the websites like rocketreach.co and they will tell you what the email address is for each of the LinkedIn profiles. So once you have the email address, form a cover letter that is compelling, that tells the director how exactly you can add value to that company if they hire you. So form that cover letter. By the way, if you're interested in how exactly to do it, uh, check out the link below to a blog post that I wrote recently, and it'll tell you 
step by step how you can go about forming a cover letter. Now send that email to a director or VP of engineering in that company and chances are even if, the, if they are not the right person for that email they will forward that email to whoever is the right person. So in essence you will get an internal referral. Now using this strategy I've gotten four responses out of every six emails I sent out. So I know it works. So if you put work into it and if you follow this process thoroughly, I'm sure you will get an interview in no time.